Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you how to make a random number generator in Minecraft. So the first thing you'll want to do is create your scoreboard variables. So what you're going to do is you're going to type slash scoreboard objectives add random dummy. So this is only going to require one scoreboard variable. And we're going to assign fake players to that in order to set up the inputs and outputs of the random number generator. The next thing you'll want to do is open up your world file and go to data packs and create a template data pack. So if you don't know how to create a template data pack, I'll have a video I made linked in the description which you can watch and it'll show you all the stuff about data packs and how to create one. So we're going to open up the data pack, go to data, video pack, functions, and we're going to create a new function. And let's call it rng underscore load dot mc function. Click yes and open it up. So in this we're going to type scoreboard players operation temp random equals max random scoreboard players operation temp random minus equals min random and finally scoreboard players operation temp random no, actually we'll do scoreboard players add temp random one. And then we're going to type function video pack colon rng and we'll do scoreboard players operation random random percent equals temp random and scoreboard players operation um random random plus equals min random and we're going to create a new file And we'll name this one rng.mc function. And before we create this function, what we'll need to create is a predicate. So we'll go to video packs, create a new folder, name it predicates, open it up, and we're going to create a new file. And we'll name this random chance dot json so we're going to open it up and we're going to paste this predicate so now that we got that um, predicate we can save it and we'll go to our rng function and we're going to type scoreboard player set random random zero and now I'll type execute if predicate video pack random chance run scoreboard players add random random one. And so we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it and we're going to multiply what we're adding by two. So this time it will be two. This time it'll be four. And we're going to copy that command a bunch of times until the amount we're adding is around one billion. So I finished um, making all of these numbers. And as always, you can copy this from the video's description. I'd recommend copying it because if you get any of these numbers wrong, then the random number generator will have a bias. So let me explain how this works. 
So first off, we have this predicate, which is video pack colon random chance. And what it's doing is there's a 50% chance that it's going to return true and a 50% chance that it's going to return false. So this is basically our random variable. And next up, every time it returns true, we're going to add um, a power of 2 to our random scoreboard. And the reason we chose to do powers of 2 is because powers of 2 are a sort of special number. And what's so special about them is that, let's take any of these numbers, this one for example, Every power of 2 um, below it is never going to add up to this number if you add them all up. So any way you arrange them, let's say you add 128 plus 16384 plus 65536, that won't reach that number. Any way you arrange it, it's not going to reach it, which is important because if we're adding numbers to the scoreboard, we don't want there to be two ways to reach the same number, or else our random number generator will have a bias. So let's take, say if we add another number in here, and let's add 3, which isn't a power of 2. Now we have a problem because we can reach 4 if this predicate is true, but we can also reach 4 if these two predicates are true, meaning there are now two ways to reach the number 4, which means there's now going to be a bias towards the number 4 in our random number generator. And we stopped at 1 billion because if we try and add any more than that, then it will cause an overflow because scoreboards can only hold so many numbers. So now let's test it out. So we're going to go back into Minecraft and we'll go back into the world. Yeah, sorry about that, Flash. And let's do scoreboard, objective, set, display, sidebar, random. And we'll do slash reload. And now we're going to do scoreboard, player, set, min, random, 3. Scoreboard, player, set, max, random, Let's do 10. And now we'll run function the u pack rng load. And as you can see, it's going to try and pick for the random value, it's going to pick a, a value between 3 and 10. So every time we load this, it'll be a different value. And we can hide this temp value by going back into our file and here it is. So what we can do is we can change the name of this temp variable and add a hashtag in front of it, which will make it hide from the sidebar. Now if we do slash reload and we do slash scoreboard players reset temp random and we run this command again. You'll see it still works but that temp scoreboard has been removed. So this random value this random number generator has a range 
of 2 billion. So any more than that, then it won't work. But I figure this is a good enough range. If you want to extend it past that range, I'd recommend maybe using some sort of, of data storage. I, I'm not quite sure how it could be done, but data storages can store values way higher than 2 billion. So I guess that's an option. I'm not quite sure how practical it would be though. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to leave a like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys later.